Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw Kermit the Frog. Start by drawing a big circle for the head. To draw the circle, make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. And then just connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake and pause the video to draw at your own pace. If you're having a hard time drawing the circle, just trace the outer edge of a cup or a bowl or anything with a circular edge. Inside the circle, draw a long vertical line that splits the circle in half. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. And then draw a horizontal line for another construction guide. The two lines should create a big plus sign inside the circle and they should divide the circle into four equal parts. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Add the eyes on the top part of the head. Start by making two small marks on the top edge of the circle for the inner sides of the eyes. Pay attention to the distance between these marks and the initial vertical construction guide. And now starting with the mark on the left, draw a line that curves to the left for the first eye. It helps to place another small mark to indicate where the top edge of the eye will be. Curve the top edge of the eye so that it's similar to a small rainbow. Add a flatter line at the bottom to close off the shape. And now draw the eye on the right the same way. First make another tiny mark at the top to indicate where the top edge of the eye will be. And then just connect the marks and make the curved line longer. Add a flatter line at the bottom to close off the shape. The bottom part of the eye should be inside the head. The eyes don't have to be exactly symmetrical, but try to make them as similar as you can to each other. Inside each eye, draw a small circle for the pupils. Draw the pupils directly on the edge of the initial big circle. On the sides of each pupil, draw a couple of curved lines to make the pupils more frog-like. Use the edge of the big initial circle as a guide to place these small curved lines. And now shade the inside of the pupils. Don't push down too hard on your pencil so that it's easy to erase later on. And now slightly above the horizontal construction guide, make a small mark for the first part of the mouth and then connect the small mark to the sides of the head to create the top part of the open mouth. The shape of this line should be similar to a small hill. Now darken the initial horizontal line for the middle part of the open mouth. Now on the lower half of the circle, draw two long curved lines for the bottom half of the open mouth. Sketch lightly at first, and when you get the shape right, darken the lines. The shape should be similar to a big curved letter V. On top of the horizontal line in the middle, draw a short curved line for the top part of the throat called the uvula. Draw a couple of lines on the sides of the uvula for the rest of the throat. On the lower half of the mouth, draw a big curved shape for the tongue. The tongue should be similar to a heart with a round bottom. Use the vertical line as a guide to draw the tongue. Add a line on the top part of the shape for the split on the tongue. And now draw the rest of the shape of the head. First draw a curved line between the eyes for the top edge of the head. And now make two small marks on the sides of the initial circle to indicate where the sides of the head will be. Use the marks as guides to draw the sides of the head. Follow the edge of the big initial circle but make the sides of the head wider. The bottom part of the head should also be lower than the initial circle. 
You can make a small mark at the bottom too to indicate the lower edge of the head. Darken the right side of the head too and make the shape similar to the left side of the head. The overall shape of the head should be similar to a big diamond. Remember to sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. Below the head make another small mark for the first part of the neck. On the sides draw two vertical lines for the sides of the neck. And then connect the sides of the neck to the small mark at the bottom using curved lines to finish the shape of the neck. Far down below the neck, draw an angled line for the first part of the collar. This angled line should be similar to the letter V. Draw another V-shaped line on the left side for more of the collar. The V-shaped line on the left should be slightly tilted. And now draw another V-shaped line on the right side. Tilt this shape a bit too. And now draw the rest of the collar by adding more V-shaped lines on the sides. The V-shaped lines on the sides should be slightly smaller than the V-shaped lines in the middle. The lines on the sides should also be tilted a lot more so that they're almost horizontal. Just like before, try to draw the right side as much as you can as the left side. But it's okay if both sides aren't perfectly symmetrical. There should be a total of 7 V-shaped lines for the collar. And now go over the final sketch lines with a pen, marker, or any other type of permanent ink. The next few steps are sped up so that the video won't be too long. Take your time and be careful when you ink your drawing to avoid any accidents. Don't ink the initial guidelines, only the final drawing. After the ink dries, get rid of every pencil mark with an eraser for a cleaner drawing. And now color your drawing. Use green for the head and the neck. Color the open mouth red, the throat black, and the tongue pink. Use light green for the collar. And that's it for Kermit the Frog. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also please visit EasyDrawingTutorials.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep drawing.